You know, when Nim Nim and I first embarked on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series, we did not imagine that it was going to spark such a movement. But thanks to your guys' continued support, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series is still going strong. But we wanted to find a way so that you all could own a piece of that history, especially from the very beginning. But we think we finally found a way to do so. If you guys follow me on social media, I did tease this a little bit, but the time has finally come to reveal the Kingslayer design is now available for purchase over on Teespring. Go ahead and check out the links down in the description to pick up your first edition copy to say that you were there from the beginning. This is only going to be available till the end of the month, so you're going to want to get yours fast, but I am super hyped about this design. To me, this design from such a talented artist embodies everything that I love about the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series. And if you guys have been following along up until this point, you are going to understand all of the different illusions that are hidden within this picture. And let's just be honest, it just looks absolutely badass. So be sure to pick up your design today. Like I said, it's only going to be available on that first edition run till the end of the month. And those links are down in the description. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. Nim Nim and I truly appreciate it. And we hope you enjoy today's episode. Ancient Prophecy was released in September 2009. This set introduced the X-Sabers, an archetype of Earth Warriors and Beast Warriors with a focus on hand control and swarming the field for rapid synchro access. Notable cards in this set include Blackwing Vayu the Emblem of Honor, Fishboard Blaster, XX Saber Gotham's Fossil Dig, and the next in line of powerful signature synchro monsters, Ancient Fairy Dragon. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 boosts booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh progression series. Yeah, did you guys miss me? Easy game, easy game. It's just too easy beating Alex every week now. Even if I give him a free wheel and he pulls Royal Oppression, it just doesn't matter. We're going into Ancient Prophecy today, and today's another big wheel. Today is actually the last day that we are on Champion Packs in the Tournament Pack slot. Next up is Turbo Packs, which is a huge change up from where we were before. Introducing some synchros into the pool of cards we can pull and everything. It's exciting, but Champion Pack 8 is still on the line, which means Royal Oppression, while it's in Alex's hand, it could still be in mine if I spin it on the wheel today. I'm really hoping I get those tournament packs, I'm gonna be honest. There's still so many cool things we can pull from CP08. Let's see. Alright, alright, I'll take it. Three more packs, Champion Pack 8. Can we get lucky this time around? The last time around in the champion pack slot. Champion pack 08, three packs. Let's go, baby. Flip them up. Woo. Oh, off the bat, baby. Royal oppression. I knew it was bound to happen. It was only a common. I was so unlucky I didn't get it the last time around. But now that we've got it, we got our one and only oppression. Now we're on fair ground, I guess you could say. And nothing special. All right. Seems about right. And the last pack. Blow. Uh, yeah, you know what? It is what it is. We can't even play two Royal Oppression, but hey, I got the one. I'm happy with it. Let's go, baby. Royal Oppression. But today, now we got to move on to the big beef of the set. That's Ancient Prophecy. 24 packs of that stuff. And I'm going to let the worst duelist in the world tell you all about it. Take it over, Simo. This is so demoralizing. I am this close to ending Gage's win streak. I've been that close for probably the last three episodes, and I think I've probably lost more to myself than I actually have lost to Gage, because if I actually played my cards right, I don't think we'd be in this position, so it is what it is. But we are now moving on to Ancient Prophecy, which was released on September 1st, 2009. Ancient Prophecy, I believe, was actually the debut of the X sabers as a matter of fact this is another very strong deck that i'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull all the components of just because i think they're a little bit higher rarity than something like black wings but there are a few cards to talk about one of the big pickups for myself specifically in this set is black wing Vayu, the emblem of honor so this is a level one tuner black wing it's nice because it means that my lower attack black wings can actually search something off of black whirlwind and this one's actually not bad if it's in the graveyard you can target a non-tuner black wing monster in the graveyard you banish 
both of them, and then you effectively synchro summon from the graveyard, but the effects of the monster are negated. The only synchro monster I have is Blackwing Armed Wing, so the only way I'm going to be able to do this is if I'm able to target Sirocco specifically. That's still not bad. It's a way for me to get a free Armed Wing onto the field, even if the effects are in fact negated. Fishboard Blaster also debuted in this set. This is a card that really isn't that good in our format specifically because we don't have access to the hidden arsenal sets. And so being able to synchro summon into Brianak, Trishula with such ease with Fishborg Blaster is part of the reason why this card got banned and is still banned to this very day. It's just very abusable and uh, pretty happy that it's gone. Probably the most important part of this set, or let's be honest, any of these sets is of course the Synchro Monsters because these cards are going to be generically accessible for both Gage and myself. Ancient Fairy Dragon is okay. It's banned, but that means we can use one of it if we do happen to pull it. It's okay. I think for our format, we're not going to be doing any crazy combos with this card. We can get another monster out onto the field, but you have to relinquish your battle phase to do that. It's a level seven generic. We already have some of those, so it would just be getting added to the pool. Turbo Cannon's not really that good. Archfiend Zombie Skull is something I could play because I have Plague Spreader, but you need two or more non-tuner zombies, and that just seems a little bit optimistic to get to. Ancient Sacred Wyvern is actually kind of a cool one, so it does require a light tuner, but other than that, it's fairly generic. And then while your life points are higher than your opponent's, this card gains attack equal to the difference, but then the reverse is also true because if your life points are lower, this card loses attack. This is a bit of a win more card, but if we're already up over like 4,000 life points on gauge, this card's attack becomes 6,100, which is kind of ridiculous. And so to be fair, it's not bad. You do need the light tuner to facilitate it. So even though it's a less generic synchro, it can be a very powerful one for closing out games where we're already ahead. And then we also have the big boy XX Saber Gotham's. This has basically just been used for hand loops and that's about it. We're probably not going to play this. I don't see us playing X Saber because I don't think we're going to be able to get all the pieces. It would be cool though. It's a level nine, but it does require an earth. So again, it's not looking too good that we're going to be able to play this. Other than that though, there really isn't too much else to discuss when it comes to ancient prophecy. There's a lot of like very obscure niche cards in this set that for the purposes of our series don't really do too much for us. There's a few more that I'm going to talk about in the opening because they're pretty low rarity, but let's just go ahead and not waste any more time and start cracking. Ancient Prophecy opened this up on stream actually just the other day. We opened a box of it. Let's see if we can have the same luck. I pulled a ghost rare uh, ancient fairy dragon. It's going to be pretty hard to top that. Let's see how we do in the online simulator though. First pack. <laughs> Already a secret rare. White knight dragon. Is it a good one? No, sir. Oh, man. Is this even good, dude? During either player's turn, when spell trap that targets it is activated and negated, destroy it. When another face of monsters target for attack, send a spell trap you control to the graveyard, change it to that card. I mean, it's not terrible. It just doesn't have any synergy with our deck we're playing right now. No way to really effectively summon it, but it's a pretty okay effect. You know what? I'll take it. It's for the collection. I can't complain. We're only one pack in, too. It's only up from here, baby. An another super rare beast, Machine King Barbro, sir. Oh, and the Fishborg Blaster, bro. Holy smokes. I forgot this was a common in this set. This card is super mega banned, and I don't think this card will ever come back. But again, in a limited format like our own, we don't have all the tools to it to make it good. I'm pretty sure this was a time where, like, Duloran was released. We don't have access to any dual terminal sets. So, uh, we don't have the full synergy with Fishborg Blaster available to us, but it still is a really nasty card to have. Also, a thing like Fossil Dig, you know, for playing those dinos later. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I, I don't really care about the super. This thing sucks. What? What? You could get a to- No, bro, don't do this to me. You could get a token in this set as one of your common slots. How useless is that? Dude, that's that's a $10 token. I've never even seen this token before in my life. And I'm a little bit upset, I'm not gonna lie. I don't want a token. <laughs> Come on, dude, that might as well be a blank. Oh, an ultra rare. Quaki Maru Gravaros. Those plant supports that we still don't have those lone fire blossoms for, huh? It is what it is. There's still so many packs left. I just can't even wait. That's our third fossil dig, too, so now we got the full play set. All right, 24 packs of Ancient Prophecy coming right up. The biggest thing I'm looking to pull out of here is probably that one copy of Vayu. I don't want more than that because since I only have one copy of Armed Wing, there really isn't a point to get multiple value. It's an ultra rare, so it might be a stretch to get, and I also won't be too bent out of shape if I don't get it. Let's see what we get, and nothing too good to start off. Actually, a few cards I want to discuss for the second pack here. So Shiny Black Sea is interesting. This is a way to actually take out synchros during either player's turn when exactly one synchro monster special summon
summon to your opponent's side of the field. You can banish this card from your graveyard to target that face up synchro monster, destroy that card. We're synchro summoning a fair bit, and this could be an easy way to take them out. But to be honest, you could also just play like any other removal, like Smashing Ground and the like, but it's not bad. We also have Ancient Leaf, which is hilarious. There was a point in Yu Gi Oh's history where people thought this card was actually going to be good because there was this rumor that the life points for Yu Gi Oh was going to be upped to above 8,000. So everyone bought out Ancient Leaf, and this became like a $10 common overnight. Yeah, that never happened. Also, here we go. Fairy Wind actually originally debuted in Ancient Prophecy. This is a pretty cool card if you've never seen it. It is a normal trap card, and you destroy as many face up spells and traps on the field as possible. And if you do, each player takes damage equal to the total number times 300. So if there's a lot of face up spells and traps, like a lot of floodgates, Fairy Wind can actually hose them very easily. Gage might want to play this instead of something like Twister. There is an argument for it because it actually does a little bit of damage as well, and it doesn't require you to pay your own life points. So I don't know. It's another card that might just go into the side deck. Well, there's probably one of the worst synchros we could have pulled in this set being XX Saber Gotham's. It's nice that we have him, but I don't ever see myself using this card in the near future just because it requires an Earth non-tuner and we're currently not playing any. So it'll probably go in the extra deck. Maybe not, but we're not going to be using it anytime soon. We also got Rekindling. Rekindling actually debuted in this set too. Really cool way to just spam the field with a bunch of uh, pyro monsters with under 200 attack. Are we going to play it? No, but it's nice to have at least the one copy. There's our first super rare XX Saber Fall Troll. Uh, I mean, we're getting the makings of an X Saber deck, but we would need almost play sets of all of these for that to happen. So again, not too optimistic, but at least we're starting to get some hollows. So we're about halfway through the opening. We just got another super rare skill successor. This is a card that I don't know why this is a super rare. You target a face up monster you control against 400 attack until the end of the turn. And then during your turn, except the turn it was sent to the graveyard, you can banish it and target a face up monster and it gains 800 attack until the end of this turn. This card has seen like super, super fringe play and probably like draft formats and the like. It's like for the purposes of our deck and like trying to get in with like Shura and stuff. I mean, that's okay. It's basically just a different form of rush recklessly that you can use like twice, I guess. But for a super rare, I don't know, man. That seems a little bit optimistic. Oh, oh my God. Just like in the pack opening, dude. Dude, ghost rare ancient fairy dragon. Now I've got two. Oh wait, you know I have to flex it now. Oh my God, guys. We literally pulled it. The unlimited ghost rare ancient fairy dragon. Got one in real life. Got one in the online simulator. Just looking more and more like my game every day, baby. Card that's not as useful right now currently, but will certainly get more powerful later on in the game. It is very, very banned, but it only gets really, really good when we get more better field spells. Card like chicken game and stuff like that, when you're just able to pop the chicken game out another chicken game and then, you know, activate that chicken game, get more value. Broken things like that with Ancient Fairy Dragon. Also, it's special summon effect is nothing to be scoffed at. But currently, it's like one of the weaker signer dragons we have. I don't think either of us has touched any field spells since the whole thing has started, and I don't think we're going to for a very long time and still field spells start to get broken. Still, you know what? I'll take it any day of the week, baby. AFD? AFD. Let's keep going. Kwaki Meru Crusader? Kwaki Meru? I don't care. Rekindling. Ooh. All right, coming up on the last three packs here. Can we pull out anything great from the end here? I'll take the AFD all day, though, baby. Is there anything that I can even wrap that up with? Ancient Leaf? Oh, yes. Unless those life points raise, that card is very bad. Uh, Ancient Forest? I do like that card. It's one of those field spells, but it's a good one. I don't think so. Last pack. Ancient Prophecy. Blah! Nothing too good. All right, we got Ancient Fairy Dragon. It's a good opening. It's a good opening. Let's see what we can change around for this time, though. I'm still feeling pretty good, though. Let's, let's see what we can do. Well, there's another Synchro Monster, and it's one of the ones I really did not want because it's almost impossible to summon Archfiend Zombie Skull. It's so difficult because it needs three monsters, and they have to be, like, all level twos. I guess you could use a three and a one, but the amount of resources you have to commit to this, it's just never going to happen. What is interesting, though, is this card right here, Solidarity. So if you've never seen this card before, Solidarity is a continuous spell that says, if you you only have one original type of monster in your graveyard, all monsters you control at the same type gain 800 attack. This was actually used in some Blackwing decks. I think it was also used in decks like Rockstun and stuff back in the day too, but being able to pump up Shura to like 2600 is actually pretty formidable. What's also nice is that with Solidarity, it will actually stack with Black Whirlwind. So when Black Whirlwind checks the attack of the monster, it'll actually already be buffed by Solidarity, I believe. So that way you can actually search for anything else, which means that Solidarity in tandem with the smaller Blackwing monsters actually means that you could search some of the bigger attack ones because they're being buffed by this card. Definitely an interesting pull and something to consider since I'm just playing a purely monotype deck. So 
it could make its way into the main deck, but it is kind of a do nothing card. So I'm not sure. I think I'd rather play this over skill successor though. All right. So here we are on the last pack. I was really hoping that we'd at least maybe get a Vayu. I thought that would be pretty cool. We got some okay cards. We got play sets. I think of almost every single good common card. So that's nice. We have those for the side deck or maybe future episodes, but for the most part, there wasn't really anything too ridiculous in the set. Let's flip up the last pack and see if we can get lucky and another Archfiend zombie skull. Are you really? Really? Out of all of the synchro monsters, it's going to be that one. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, Ancient Prophecy definitely not laying the foundation for a uh, prophetic win this time around, but I don't really think our deck needs it. Our deck's already looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and throw this into Dueling Book and see what we can come up with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, changed up a few things about the list because of the polls today. They weren't too bad, but also the polls from last time. I took up a couple pages out of Alex's book that I seemed to like, and I tried to apply them to my list here. First things first, Blackwing, Gale the Whirlwind. I drastically underappreciated this card here. It pairs really well with a card like Mystic Tomato. We can pull it off. Level 3 Tuner that has a really powerful effect tied on top of it. Now with a card like Black Rose Dragon and I guess Ancient Fairy Dragon too, we have more level 7s to go into. I figured why not throw it in there. Even though we have a card like Psychic Commander and the Krebons to pull off e tally it's still pretty good. I also like the Instant Fusion tech from Alex. I thought that was a really good idea too, and our Instant Fusion targets are banging in this deck, especially when we can pull out a Gilta, which is a level five, pair it with a level three, we can make an eight, and not only that, but Gilta's a light, which is huge. Or if we need a dark, we can make Reaper the Nightmare. Any of our threes, our sixes, oh, well, you can't even summon a six with this. Doi. Just having access to the base numbers like 5, 4, 3, being able to bring them off with instant fusion, pair them with a tuner, it's pretty damn good if you ask me. Filling up the graveyard with extra attributes that might be needed, and also it's just, it's a special summon, so we can pair it with a, just a normal summon of the tuner. Uh, very powerful, I'm very much liking it. Our deck's looking uh, spookier and spookier every episode. Now that we got Royal Oppression, we're on, I guess, fair ground again, even though I got all the bombs and Alex doesn't. Let's see how he deals with my oppression this time around. I actually think instead of these light imprisoning mirrors, now that I know that Alex is on black wings, we can trade those easily for shadow imprisoning mirrors throw those in the side deck there um even though our dark targets are pretty good for us too maybe we could side it in who knows i still feel we just have a better matchup against blackwing maybe alex will prove us wrong hopefully he's gonna need it dude this win streak it's getting pretty long let's see what you come up with today alex good luck duelist all right you guys so this is the deck we are bringing to today's duel admittedly it looks very similar to our previous deck but to be fair i was feeling really good about this strategy i think i have a lot of control elements here and i think i can just completely blow them out with how aggressive this deck can be we really just didn't get to show that off because we were missing like the sorokos the shuras you know the, the higher attack monsters in the last episode so that in tandem with black whirlwind i really hope to demonstrate this time around we saw the two blizzard great for just a one card goyo guardian so that's why we want to play it three bora just for swarming and the piercing's also nice two gale just for being able to cut his monsters down to size also we can special summon it so it allows for some synchro plays we have the Kalut for playing honest basically we have the shura that's great for board present and it's 1800 and we have the three sorokos as well this is great because it's the top of the totem pole when it comes to black whirlwind so that way we can go soroko into shura into bora into one of these and then hopefully that should be enough to just win the game by itself we also have a copy of kaiku the ghost destroyer i wanted to have a slightly higher monster count because i feel like i was struggling to find monsters in the last episode and kaiku is one of the best it's a dark so it synergizes with allure of darkness and it's also good just because it keeps him off of cards like chaos emperor dragon it can keep him off of dark arm dragon it's also just big so overall if there was a card to put in here i would say kaiku is probably one of the best contenders for the spells one allure triple black whirlwind two book of moon this is great to just stop synchro summoning to stop chaos emperor to stop dark arm this can stop just everything and in tandem with shura this can just be a very dangerous combination to allow me to swarm the field one brain control for synchro plays this has actually come up in clutch when i know i actually use it properly one heavy storm one pot of greed one regeki and one snatch steel for the trap cards we have two copies of bottomless two compulse three icarus attack i did not get to use this in the last episode and i feel like this can just be a card that will win me the game by itself so i really hope to see that in tandem with a actual black wing this time around one imperial order two copies of rivalry of warlord so this is a card that i forgot that i pulled way back i think this is like magician's force i believe and so rivalry of warlords is interesting because my whole deck aside from kaiku is predominantly wing beast monsters now if i have this out obviously i can't go into goyo guardian so that kind of sucks but the thing is rivalry will actually hose him pretty significantly because if he has two monsters on the field i can flip rivalry it'll keep him off of being able to go into goyo because he'll most likely have to send one of them to the graveyard and then he's locked into that particular 
particular monster, and it's going to be difficult for him to remove it. I'm not really affected by this, so I can just swarm the field with all my black wings, and he might actually struggle to deal with this. This also keeps him off of stuff like Emperor and Dark Arm Dragon. If he wants to go like normal summon Witch of the Black Forest, and I see that Emperor is coming, I can flip this, and that way he's not even able to summon the Emperor out, because otherwise we would just be losing on the spot. I think this card might have a very special place in this deck, and just for variety, I thought I'd go ahead and try it out. We'll see what happens. We also have the Royal Oppression and the Torrential Tribute, but we have a lot of ways to deal with the Chaos Emperor, the Dark Arm Dragon, so hopefully that will be enough. For the side deck, we have Cyber Dragon, DD Crow, two copies of Raikou. This is just to out anything weird that we might come across. The Dark Hole, I actually swapped this for the Kaiku because Dark Hole is a good going second card, so I figure if I know I'm going second, then I'll actually side this in just to have another board wipe. Otherwise, I just want to have the body for now. Two copies of my body as a shield. Speaking of which, that was a great segue. This is a great card just to ensure that I maintain my board presence. Gage is only playing a few cards that actually will interact with this. I think it's like five or six. So I'm not really too keen to want to play my body in like any more than one or two copies, if at all. Soul Release is a great way to just purge the graveyard and hopefully keep them off of Emperor and uh, Dark Arm Dragon for a little bit longer. Two Mind Crush, two Wing Blast. These are going to most likely come in for the rivalry, depending on if I'm going first or second. We'll see what happens. We also have Skill Drain and Trap Dust Shoot for when I know I am going first. I'm really excited. I know this deck has so much potential, and even though my Synchro Pool is lacking, I think this deck is good enough to consistently beat Gage. I just have to actually be good enough to pilot it properly for that to be the case. But we'll see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to duel. Gage in the ancient time, the prophecy was foretold of a man of eight O's coming to conquer the Dark Arm Dragon, the Chaos Emperor Dragon, the only light in the shining darkness, which happens to be a set coming up very soon. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Dude, where are you getting this prophecy from? I can't tell you. I haven't heard that anywhere, man. Yeah, the, the way things have been going, I would not say that. But I'm feeling good about today. I'm feeling good. I think this is the day. I think your win streak's coming to an end. And uh, I really hope so, because we have turbo, uh, excuse me, turbo packs coming up. And uh, I really just want to start getting into some uh, actual good pulls instead of the stuff we got out of Ancient Prophecy. I don't know about you, but this set was... Uh... Yeah, it's a, it's a little <laughs> shaky, you know. There's some cool stuff here and there, like X-Sabers and everything. But as for, like, the other sets, they're just better, dude. Like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Better. This is this has been probably one of the worst sets, in my opinion, that we've had in a while. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and rock, paper, scissors it up, though. And we shout out our patron. I love this name, by the way. Mr. Dank Chords. Thank you so much oh, for man. your support. Dank Chords, dude. That's a hell of a Dank name. Chords. <laughs> oh, Dank Chords with the scissors coming in. Let's see if he can. Ooh, a Man, these these rock paper scissors are intense. Gage. I feel like it's only gotten more. Oh! Oh my, I feel like it's only gotten more fair since you've been rolling those dice to actually pick for you. Like if this was see, on the same grounds where you were picking, I would be undefeated. But see, I keep winning the rock paper scissors, and I'm losing the actual match. Oh, hey, you're winning. I guess what some people would say is the more important thing. So. <laughs> Uh, I guess. So uh, we're going second, though. That seems to be the move still. Go ahead, Duelist, and best All of right. luck. Best of luck, Duelist. I'm going to start activating that Rota. Sure, Rota's good. All right, give me that DD Warrior Lady. Okay. Uh, I will set a monster and two face down cards, and it's your turn. All right, I will draw. You got something for me? Nope, nothing on draw phase. You're good. Okay, so no trap dust shoot. Kind of okay to see that. All right, so what do we want to do? I'm going to start by firing off a copy of Black Whirlwind. Ah, uh, you're still on those Black Wings. I thought so. I thought so. That's good, though. You can do that. We'll do a normal summon of Bora. We'll see if that's okay. Yeah, Bora's okay. Okay, trigger Black Whirlwind. Get to go digging. And we're going to grab ourselves a copy of Kalut. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I know you play Warrior Lady, and I kind of don't want to attack it for obvious reasons. So I think all I'm going to do, actually, is just set myself a couple of cards, and I think I'm just going to pass it over to you. I'm all right with that. I'll draw. All right, and now I know you have Kalut, so that Kalut's a pain. It's like Honest, except I can actually play it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Oddly enough, I still think this is like the right play. I'm going to flip up DD Warrior Lady. Okay, good thing I didn't attack. Yeah, is that okay? That's fine. All right, I'm going to flip up this Compulse. I'm going to put that Bora back in your hand. Hmm, that's strange. You're compulsing my Bora. Why do you want to compulse my Bora? In response, I'm going to chain Icarus attack. Ooh. 
I'm going to tribute Bora, and I'm going to target your warrior lady and your set card. Yeah, that resolves. Alex, you get to see something. Are you ready for this? Now we're uh -oh. on, I guess, even ground again, I guess you could say. You got an oppression, didn't you? you got an <laughs> oh, I did, bro. Shit. That's what you okay. get for letting me get those champion packs again, man. You just got to win some sometimes. You I know? didn't it let so you easy. get. Well, I guess I did let you get them because I punted the last two. Anyway, we're not going to talk about it. Go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. I'll normal summon Jane. That's fine. Jane will get in for 18. I'll take it. Sure. All right. And I'll just go straight to that end phase. I'll mill two. Okay, there goes oh. an e tell. Oh, oh, man, what? I'd like oh. to see that. <laughs> I'll draw. Okay, uh, this is gonna get dicey for you, I think, Gage. I'm gonna normal summon Blizzard. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna activate Blizzard's effect, and yep. we are gonna grab ourselves this Bora that's sitting in our graveyard here. Yep. And Did you want to trigger your Black Whirlwind, too? Or is there, there's nothing smaller than Blizzard, right? There is, but I don't have something smaller than Blizzard in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I respect it. I respect it. I'll just tell you this now because it's not really that big of a deal. Vayu actually came out in this set, but it's an ultra rare, so I did not pull a copy you of didn't Vayu. Pull Otherwise, Vayu? Otherwise, I would have loved to search that off of this blizzard here, so gives that away, but I don't think that's really going to matter too much. Okay, let's see here. Got two cards in hand. I think I just put the screws on you here, I suppose. We're going to go ahead and uh, synchro summon, and let's just go straight into the man himself, Goyo Guardian. Yep, the Goyo that guards. Go to yep, we'll go to battle phase. We'll hit over this Jane. All right, it's yours now. I'll take a thousand. Yep, you will take a thousand. And uh, I'll go to my main phase too. I will set myself a card and I'll go to my end phase where I have to fulfill this maintenance cost. Never thought I'd be saying that again, but there goes a Sirocco and a second Black Whirlwind. Go ahead. All right, my turn, baby. I'll draw. This is where you summon your Goyo Guardian now. <laughs> hey, yeah, right? Oh, I wish it was that easy. Uh, I'll just set a card and pass. Ooh, that's It's okay. not looking good, bro. It's not looking good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I will draw. Oh, so you're on 7,000 life points, huh? That's quite a bit. Well, I suppose I'll put this Jane into attack position. And let's see. Just doing some math. Yeah, let's put the screws on you. I'm going to go ahead and normal summon Gale the Whirlwind. Oh, things are getting dicey. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. All right, I will go to battle phase. Yep, I'm going to take this I, all. Okay, so I'm going to attack with Gale. In damage step, I'm actually going to collute you here. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take 28 and then 18. Oh, my God, I, that would just kill me. Oh, that's game. Oh. <laughs> well, wait, no, <laughs> well, I actually have something because I, I didn't oh. expect that I'd be put on pressure that head. But I'll flip... <laughs> Wing oh, blast? that's desperate. That's desperate. Yeah, yeah. It's not It's not looking good. I'm going to pitch this Cyber Dragon. Okay. Uh, go ahead and throw your Goyo back. I already took the 28, but I totally okay. did. Okay, we'll, we'll change. Be. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to. I don't want to give you that. You can have it back. <laughs> don't worry. Okay, so yeah. So give yourself 28 back. Okay. And then take off uh, 18 for Jane then. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that would have killed you. Okay. So my math was correct. All right. So then main phase two. You didn't even know that. You 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 <laughs> didn't even know it was game. What do you mean your math is correct? I, I thought I thought it was gonna put you out of emperor range, which is all I cared about to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so main phase two. I kind of want to keep your Jane. I mean, you have lights in the grave anyway, so it's not like I'm keeping you off of Emperor regardless. I'm actually going to sync up here. All right, go for it. Uh, I'm going to go into... Power Tool Dragon. I'm thinking about it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> You know what? I am going to go into power. Oh, uh, no way. He did it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put him in. I'm going to put him into defense position specifically here because Please I think this is a bit of a safer effect, play. Dude. Please tell me. No, you can I can't the activate the effect. No, come on, bro. You mean to tell me you didn't play things so you could search snatch steel? You're crazy. No, if, it, if I actually got to choose, then absolutely. But no, I can't pollute my deck with more bad cards. All right, Alex. Well, I mean... This doesn't look good. I'm going to be honest with you, but you better have a normal summon. I'm going to activate Dark Hole. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, go ahead. I'll draw. It's not a normal summon. Go ahead. All right, I'll take it. Draw. I'll normal summon Sangin. That's a good one. And he'll get in for a thousand. I'll take it. Cool. Your turn. Oh, you got to be kidding me, bro. Oh, is this going to be Sangin Beatdown? <sighs> Don't tell me this is going to be Sangin Beatdown <laughs> of all things. I'll set and pass. Go oh, ahead. Oh, let's go. I'll draw. Sangin Beatdown. Let's go. Sure. Main two. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll draw. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna normal summon Gale. Okay, I'm thinking. Does Black Whirlwind add less or equal or less? It's less. Okay, 
die, so you can't add anything off it, can you? No. Again, that you, you know of. Vayu. You didn't pull Vayu. Shut up. You even there's just other, <laughs> there's other cards in the set that I pulled. I didn't pull Vayu, but there's other cards that I pulled. Uh... I'll run that risk. Go ahead. You're fine. Okay. okay. No, I, no activation. Fine. Okay. No activation. It's okay. <laughs> Trust me. It's not, I wish it was that good. I will use the effect of Gale and half the attack of Sangin. Sure. I will go to the battle phase and attack into Sangin. Yep. 800. Yep. And I'm going to activate that Sangin. Sure. I'm going to pick up a Witch of the Black Forest. Makes sense. And go ahead. Okay. Uh, sh thinking. Yeah. During the end phase, I'll flip up Dust Tornado. I'll pop this one. Sure. That was my compulse. Okay, cool. I'll take it. I'll draw for turn. During my main phase, I'm going to activate Cold Wave. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so let me think about this now. What's going to happen here? So you've got Witch. Are you starting to put the puzzle pieces together yet? You I'm see what's going I already, on? I already have <laughs> the puzzle pieces together. I'm just thinking, I'm thinking what else could happen here. So you basically go Witch, crash into Gale, get Dad. You go to main phase two and you pop most of my board, which is pretty good. So in response to Cold Wave, I'm going to activate Compulse targeting Gale. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'll add Gale back to my hand. This way you can't crash into it. Uh, I have nothing else, so you're good. Yeah, unfortunately. All right, well, I guess I'll just set and uh, pass. Go <laughs> go ahead. Could be literally anything. It could be literally anything, dude. Under cold wave, so there's not really too much I can do here. So I actually think I'm just going to pass the turn. Go ahead. All right, all right, cool. I'll draw. I'll set, and I'll end my turn. Go ahead. Okay, I will draw. All right, so we know you have Witch Set. That's, like, pretty obvious at this point. I'm going to go ahead and Normal Summon Shura the Blue Flame. Yeah, sure is fine. Trigger Black Whirlwind. Yep. I'm going to get myself a copy of Bora. Sure. I am going to Special Summon Gale the Whirlwind. Yep. I'm going to Special Summon Bora. <sighs> and I am going to hit the concede button. Yeah, you got it, dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Finally, too much, too much. finally. That was a long one. Yeah. Oh, lucky. Alex, don't get too excited, bro. You know, this is how every single one of these episodes have been starting. You might get the first one, but I come back with the quick 2-0 there. And the you just don't even know what happened, has been bro. foretold, Gage. It, Your it time has been is foretold. up. It is Simo's time to get back in the winner's circle. I can feel it. This is my episode. Go ahead, buddy. Hey, man, whatever you tell yourself to sleep at night, I'm going to go second. <laughs> so... it's, it's been like that the last several weeks, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, good luck, the list. Good luck. Ooh, I'm liking the start of this. I'm going to go ahead and activate Black Whirlwind. Sure. I'm going to activate another Black Whirlwind. Oh, lordy. Yeah. I'm going to normal summon Bora. Oh it could be worse. Oh, my God. Dude, it could yeah, be go worse. ahead. <laughs> yeah, if I started with Shura, I think you should be quaking a little bit more here. But I'm going to go ahead and add Kalut with one, and I'm going to add Blizzard with the other. Yep. I will set a card, and that will be all for my turn. Go ahead. All right. I will draw. Now, if I just top deck Sirocco, I probably just win the game. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it's just that easy. I'll start by special summoning Cyber Dragon. Yeah, he's good. He's a good card. All right, and then I'll normal summon Snipe Hunter. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's okay. All right, Alex, you know what they say. No gamble, no future, baby. I am going to discard Escape from a Dark Dimension. We're going to target the You're going to target. There's no way I have luck like last time, right? No way I can the double one. I mean, double one may not be in your future, but I'm feeling a six this time around. Yeah, go ahead. Are go you? For it. All right, let's go for it. Uh, Ooh, let's go let's okay. go get it off the okay. field yeah he's nice. gone the thing is that's <laughs> you still have double black whirlwind <laughs> i do <laughs> that's still so scary um all right i'll go battle phase sure 15 okay 21 mm, yeah that's fine all right cool main phase two i will set a card i'll end my turn let's see let's see a nice sirocco top deck here that'd be just beautiful draw anything on draw uh nothing on draw you're good okay that's fine by me. All right, what do we want to do now? Uh, I suppose we lead with this. I'll normal summon Blizzard. Uh, uh, yeah, Blizzard normal summon is okay. I will activate the effect targeting Bora. Thinking. It's a big think. This is a huge thing right now. I know you have Kalu. I don't know, two other cards in your hand. You didn't trigger Black Whirlwind because you can't. <laughs> um... <laughs> As far as you know. As far as I know. <laughs> I think you could safely assume at this point I would have probably triggered it if I had something. <laughs> oh no, wait, this is still really good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that card that I just got. Give me that royal oppression. Oh, so you're gonna negate that special summon? Sure am. I'm gonna pay the what is it, eight hundred? I haven't I have yet to pay for this card. Yeah, it's eight hundred, so 
It's pretty good. And it's going to destroy right. that blizzard. That's nice. It, it does destroy the card too. That's crazy. Mm, that's pretty strong. All right. Well, I got to think now because uh, that was pretty nice. This champion pack's coming in clutch for you here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I missed it the first time around too. <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to get it. My options aren't looking too good here, Gage. I got to be honest with you. So I think some desperate times are going to call for desperate measures. We'll see if I regret this. I'm going to activate brain control. Oh, all right. You want to take the cyber dragon? Oh, it's old no, pre give me, the, give me the snipe hunter. Oh, no. -uh. All right. Ballsy play. I'm going to activate snipe hunter. I'm going to okay. pitch this copy of Gale in my hand. Okay. And we're going to go after the cyber dragon. Sure. Oh, oh my oh. turn now, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> that was huge. That was so big. <laughs> I got to do it again. All right. I got to do it again. Okay. You okay. know, I would have appreciated that the first time, but the whoops, did, did not mean to do, do that. <laughs> You're popping the Cyber Dragon, right? Correct, yes, popping right. the Cyber He's Dragon. He's gone. He's right. gone. Battle phase, I'll hit for 15. Yep. And then I'll just go to end phase. You can have this back. Gladly. All right, I will draw for turn. Stay yeah, by not me. too happy about it. I mean, I guess it's now my turn to use Snipe Hunter. I'll activate Snipe Hunter. I'll pitch Dad, and I'll target that. That is fine. All right, cool. Uh, spin the dice. Let's go here. <laughs> oh my god, bro. You're never fucking lucky, dude. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh, oh. This could be a huge. This this could be so big. This could be so big. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, I'll banish a light and a dark, and I'll summon okay. CED. Do you want to royal oppression that? I 100% want to royal oppression. I kind of figured you might <laughs> want to, yeah. Now, let's see if that back row keeps you alive, because this is game on board if you don't have anything. Yeah, you got it. So it was uh, a mind easy. crush. So my thinking was, if you didn't have another way to get any special summon to force me to oppression, unless you had like Jane specifically, I actually probably wouldn't have been dead. So I think I actually played that okay, but uh, it didn't matter, obviously. So, oh my God, that would have been that. I would have just won the game there. I guess your prophecy <laughs> didn't foretell you that one, huh? Uh, oh, that, that would be crazy, bro. Like that top deck, that uh, right. game over. Admit that defeat, bro, been... but it wasn't. But it wasn't. It, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It's not over yet, Gage. It's not over yet. The prophecy has yet to be completed. Minor setback. I think it had not been for the potential missing of the Snipe Hunter. We might not have been in that position. Hey, but we, we both we'll missed, see. bro. Come on. It's only That's fair. That's true. Dude. We both <laughs> missed. Yeah. We both missed. It's okay. But we're going to hand it to you for going second and, uh, or going me going second. Excuse me. And uh, here we go. Good luck. All Good luck, the marbles. Dolist. You're going to need it. I'll start it off with just a set and a pass. Go ahead. I never like when you do this. All right, I'll draw. Any on standby or draw? No, you're good. All right, we dodged dust shoot three games in a row. Like <laughs> it. All right, we'll go to main one. I am going to set a monster, and I will set myself several cards face down. Oh, oh my god, that is several. All right, uh, and I will pass the turn. I'll draw. That's a wow. That's a shitty draw. <laughs> um, <laughs> Love to hear that. <laughs> Love to hear that. Oh man. All right, let's see here. I will start my turn by special summoning Cyber Dragon. I figured you had him. Like it was impossible that you didn't have Cyber Dragon. Suppose that's fine. All right, we'll pair that up with a Jane. Sure. Battle phase. I am going to attack okay. with the Jane. All right. In response to your attack, I'm going to activate Icarus attack. Fuck. Oh my god, that card I'll is so good. I'll tribute the set good. Gale, and I'll target Cyber Dragon as well as your set card. <sighs> oh man. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. All right. All right. What was it? What was it? Ooh, that's a big one. Would you like to redeclare with Jane? I would, yeah. So get that 18. Okay. So I'll take the 18 to the face. That's fine. All right. I guess I'll go main phase two, set a singular card, and then I'll pay that maintenance cost for Jane. All right. Mill those good cards. Oh. Psychic Commander. Someone's on a level three tuner now. Interesting. Yeah. I guess it's a nice target for E-Telly. Okay. It sure is. All it's right. one of the better ones there. So I see you. I'll draw for turn. Yep. Is that fine? Yep, that's good. All right. Go to main one. I will normal summon Blackwing Sirocco the Dawn. Yeah. Yep. Go to battle phase. I will attempt to hit into Jane. Yep. Jane's going to go down. Okay. Uh, sounds good to me. I'll go to main two and I'll just pass the turn. All right. I'll draw. Stay in my main. I will set and pass. Go ahead, your turn. I will draw. I guess we just keep the pressure going. I'm going to normal summon Shura. Yuck. Yep, that's good. Go to battle phase. We'll hit into your set with Shura. Yeah, it's um Warrior Lady. I'm going to choose to banish Okay. Both. Okay, so they will both get banished. Shura will not trigger because the monster it kills has to be sent to the graveyard. Swing for 2k with Sirocco. I am going to take 2k to the dome. All right, I'll just set myself another card. Go ahead. 
I'll draw. That's a huge draw. That's massive. Stand by main. This is going to be huge if this can go through. This is going to be like one of the biggest plays in the progression series. But there's there's no way it does. There's no way it does. We'll see. I'll start by activating instant fusion. I'm going to pay a thousand. Oh, now you're on the instant fusion. I, I kind of liked that idea from you. I was digging it. So picked it up. Uh, Yeah, instant fusion's fine. All right. Uh, I will chain emergency teleport. Oh, interesting. Both of these are fine. Yeah. Oh, I love to hear. It. All right, cool. So we'll go eat Telly. Eat Telly's going to pull out a Craybons for me. Okay. And then Instant Fusion is going to grab me Gilta the Dark Knight. Okay. Now I have to think here. You have a two and a five. Hmm. What could you possibly want to make here? Dude, I can make I wonder. anything. I could make anything. You can. So what I'm going to do is here, in, res me. in response to Guiltia's summon, I'm going to bottomless. That's so rough. That is so rough. This game is trash. <laughs> Oh my god, I could have summoned something to play under bottomless too. Is this what I lose to? No. Ah, uh, yep. That that's fine. Okay. All right. Crisis averted. <laughs> you still have Krebons, so I'm not feeling too good about yeah, it. Yeah, I have a Krebons until the end phase, dude. I can't. <laughs> it doesn't do anything, bro. And now I have nothing. Oh, Get him out of here. Get God. banished. Go to be fair, it synergizes with uh, Return from the Dark Dimension. I oh, suppose. yeah. You let but... me just draw that out of my yeah. ass, bro. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> You've drawn better cards out of your ass before. I don't trust it. I'm just going to go battle no, it in. <laughs> at least I'm not dead this turn. Okay. You're not dead this turn. I wish you were dead this turn. Go ahead. Draw. Well, I kind of have to do this, huh? Dark hole? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Go ahead, your turn. Give me a good card, please. That is not a good card. I'll set one and pass. I'll draw. I'll pass. <laughs> I just want a monster. That, oh my god. Really? Go ahead. Draw. Oh, that's good. Greed. That is, oh, yeah, sure. Lucky me. Lucky Am I going to lose off a of pot of greed of all things? Uh doesn't look like it dude oh, oh okay man. good i'll set two and end my turn i'll draw during your draw phase i can't believe this was live i'm gonna die <laughs> i'm gonna dust well you, you're bro. gonna be you're gonna be disappointed dude, again <laughs> again bro what <laughs> come on dude this is the second time this shit happened to me oh my <laughs> god dude your hand is stacked too look at that i just need a monster <laughs> oh man all right all right, you minus, so that's good. I, I guess it gets one thing out of the uh, the equation here. I don't know how much that matters. It's the, it's the problem. <laughs> I'll just set a card. Go ahead. Draw. Set. Pass. This is some fun Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. This is not fun in the slightest. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now we're talking. Is it enough? I rescind that last statement I just made. I don't know how good this actually is. <laughs> Bro, you could just totally activate Heavy Storm. You can do that, you know. Trust me, I've been tempted at times. <laughs> I guess I have to do this. I'm going to normal summon Blizzard. Um, sure. I will activate Blizzard's effect, targeting Gale. Um, thinking. I'm going to activate Oppression. I'm going to pay that eight. Interesting. Okay, so I actually think I'm going to do this. I think this is probably the correct play. In response, I'm going to chain Icarus attack. God, that card Tribute is so Blizzard. Good. I'm going to pop your other two back row. <sighs> Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it was escape and my body. I actually did okay. pull it out of my ass, bro. <laughs> you did. <laughs> okay, I was gonna lose the gale anyway. I or the the blizzard. I could have potentially used it on oppression, but I actually kind of like having oppression up because that means that if you get into like emperor or dad somehow, I can actually negate it. So I'm kind of okay with that, to be fair. With that, I think I'll just pass the turn. Go ahead. Draw. This is so bad. I feel like I'm gonna need the turn. I'm gonna activate Cold Wave. Wow. Uh, let me think. He said he needs the turn. What are you plotting with this? Yeah, sure. Cool. Uh, I'll normal summon Krebons, and I'll get. In That's fine. Okay. 
I'll take it. Go ahead, your turn. Now I kind of see your point here. I cannot set cards, nor can I activate any because of Cold Wave. So this gives you setup for potentially like a Goyo Guardian push or some sort of push in general. So with that, I'll pass the turn. Go ahead. Uh, oh boy, I'll draw. Cold Wave's a hell of a card, man. Like It is. I think to all the episodes where if Cold Wave wasn't a factor, if I would have actually been able to stop like the big threats in your deck. And so it's funny, like Cold Wave is almost more scary than and those cards at times. <laughs> this still doesn't look good, bro. Oh my god. You have right decky. You know I have it too. <laughs> I know you have it too. That doesn't make it any better. I'll normal summon Jane. Just torrential uh, me. Just torrential me. I'm gonna bottomless the Jane. I'm actually 1000% okay with that. That's fine. I'll sink 12 in. Yeah, I'll take the 12. All right, and it is your turn. Please give me a monster. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is unreal. Like you could not believe this. I will set two cards and I will pass the turn. Go I'll ahead. draw. I mean, all right. I'll normal summon Snipe Hunter. Okay, I'm torrential this you 100%. Find, damn, you just said it too, bro. Oh my God. Yeah. All right, all right. Your move. Give me a monster. I literally win with a single monster. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, I love this, bro. Keep drawing spells or traps that don't uh, do anything. Unbelievable. Go. Draw. You don't have dust shoot, so I don't have anything to worry about. Go. That's fine. I'll draw. I can't believe this. <laughs> Did you get a monster? <laughs> nope. Dude, you've got five cards in hand. I'll draw. That's a really good draw. I'll summon Sangin. Sangin's Sangin. fine. All right, cool. We'll go Sangin beat down. He's back. I'll take the thousand. That's let's fine. go. Let's go. Your turn. A monster. Okay. I think this is over. You got one. I'm so proud I think of you, this bud. Is, I, I am so frustrated right now. I think this is over. I am activating Heavy Storm. Oh, I don't like when you say it's 100% over too, because then I think I know I'm screwed. Yeah, that's that's okay. Okay, that's all I needed to clear out of the way. Okay, so there goes my compulse. There goes my book. There goes my order. Oh Don't my, you them. are packing back there too. Holy crap. Activate Whirlwind. <laughs> Activate Whirlwind. Yeah. Normal summon Bora. Yeah. Trigger double Whirlwind. Add two copies of Kalut to my hand. Alex. Right, Geki the Sangan out of spice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to even bother. Sangan's mandatory, but I'm not going to do it. Battle oh, phase man. hidden. Double. Kalute. This is fucking over and I'm back in the winner's circle. Hell, Hell yeah. Man. The prophecy <laughs> was fulfilled, bro. Unbelievable. Oh, finally. Oh my god. All right, I, I got I I have to know this too because I'm going to kick myself if I don't. When you bottomless okay. the Gilta, did you have another option to deal with whatever I summoned even if it played under bottomless? Yes, I had a book of moon and I had a compulse. So Okay, so had it didn't you matter. not had that it didn't matter. No. I just specifically did not want you to go into Black Rose, obviously, because I'm up on you yeah. by like four cards. So I would have probably, I think Compulse probably would have been the right call there because Book is too versatile. So I think I would have probably just Compulsed. Oh my God, he had it in his hand. Yeah, yeah, I drew it too. So it's like, ah, Dude, if I had one more turn, bro. Well, to be fair, like Oppression's like a double-edged sword though, because when you did that, I had the consideration on the Blizzard activation to pop Oppression. So mm -hmm. then that way I still would have actually gotten the uh, the Gale summon, I believe. But the thing is, I would have left one of your back row, but you having oppression up is actually good for me because in that position, when I had all the cards in my hand and on the field, I I kind of felt like I only lost to Dark Armed and Chaos Emperor in that mm -hmm. position. So when you flipped that, I was kind of like, okay. And I had like 6,000 life points at that point too. Mm -hmm. So I just needed to draw a monster to kind of close it out. And it took what, seven turns for me to draw one? Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. That was ridiculous. I mean, so, any, those seven turns, many things are going to happen, but I feel like I had to flip the oppression there because if I would have just let that right. one through, you'd just make Goyo and I lose. So. Well, so the thing is, I couldn't have made Goyo because I was getting back Gale. Gale's a three and it's a tuner. So oh, I would have well, two make tuners. you magical android and I lose. If no, you make a tuners. Monster, like, I, I couldn't have made anything. So I would have just you, Were you me. trying to metagame me with that? Were you just trying to big brain it? No, I was just trying to get two monsters on the field because even though Gale has to come in defense next turn, if you couldn't kill either of them, I could have just switched Gale to attack and killed you with both of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or if I drew a monster, I could have then synchro summoned or brain control or snatch steal. If you happen to play something, which I didn't have at this point, I could have then taken that, used it to synchro something myself. I was just doing it for pure value at that point. I wasn't doing it for any other reason. And you were on, I think, 2,800 life points. So if Blizzard hit in, that would have been 13. So you would have been on 15. 
15. And then Blizzard plus Gale would have been enough to kill you if I kept you off a monster, which I had compulse in the back row. So mm. anything you could have summoned or set, I would have just compulsed and I could have attacked you for game. So that was the, the tentative plan. But Royal Oppression obviously just changed things up. Man, mm -hmm. Icarus attack is a house. Oh, I was dude. just I was literally just about to say that, dude. That card is so good. Every time you flip Icarus attack, I'm sick. You had yeah. it two times this game, too. That card is so crazy. It's crazy because like in the, the previous episode, I didn't get to use it at all. I think you might have either cold waved or you might have like popped it with something before I like snipe hunter or something when I had no winged beasts on the field. So it's an amazing card if you can actually get a monster on the field. And I think this episode exemplified that pretty well. Mm -hmm. I'm still main decking my body as a shield and like I didn't see it. Like I that's what I thought when I was building the deck too. I was like, this card is like, okay, but against Icarus attack, it's amazing. And I right, haven't right. seen it against Icarus attack yet. It would be huge if I could do that because you tribute the card too. So you yeah. just go like minus two and that's massive. Right. It's huge. It's huge. It's also good though, too, because if I, if you force me to go first, let's say I win the first game, then if you like set my body, I could just Icarus attack your back row and your monster potentially. So you don't even get a chance to my body it in response. Well, so if you it, target it, it, a it, monster it's... and the back row, I still think I can my body. I think it's as no, long I'm as saying on your, I'm saying monster. on your end phase. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's right, gross. because it's, it's just like end phase MST at that point, except just different. And that's a little bit like win more. I think I'd have to have like a pretty aggressive hand to want to do that, mm -hmm. but it still doesn't take away from the power that the card has. So you got Royal Oppression in your uh, champion packs, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, luckily, you're only afforded the one, so I'm happy to uh, to know I actually that we're not yeah, going to be <laughs> I pulled two of them, so I mean, oh, yeah, thank if only, God if only. for that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's good then. Did you get anything else good, or was it just the oppressions really? I got the AFD. I mean, like, okay, I'm not like super mad about this because this card, in terms of all the other synchros we've had, this card is kind of whatever. It, it's like a combo enabler. I was saying, like, like, right now, right now, it's like whatever yeah. but like later on in the game when we get things like chicken game or just good field spells when we hit synchro era too and you can special summon from hand like what pendulum sorcerer oh, i'm thinking way too far ahead but like <laughs> afd gets broken afd gets real yeah. good later on but right now it's yeah. just like it's whatever i'd rather make black rose i think i had to have gotten the worst synchros in this i got Godums, which i'm never gonna summon. oh let's go I got the plague spreader synchro guy that needs two non-tuners and plague Doom spreader Kaiser? to make and he's like a yeah no 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 it's the summon skull one the arcane oh, skull oh. Or whatever <laughs> that and he, one and what's even funnier is that i got two of them so oh. even worse uh, so i'm just like give me even if it's ancient fairy dragon like ancient fairy dragon's kind of like the best of the worst here and it's like fine it's generic right if anything it's a bigger defense than like power tool dragon mm -hmm. but like just anything literally anything and i just i i could not get it it, it was not happening this my episode af for me. my ancient fairy dragon it was also it was a ghost rare too so it's like that Ooh. uh box i opened the other day on my stream i pulled that that's ghost funny that's actually really funny yeah, that yeah, just yeah. happened <laughs> as you would say the uh the prophecy was foretold <laughs> It was. I mean, maybe that was just a premonition to you actually pulling the Ghost Rare one in the progression series. And watch, like, 30 episodes in the future or on, like, episode 98 or whatever. You're going to summon this fairy dragon and be like, Alex, remember when I got this all the oh way back God. a year ago? Here yeah, just is. wait. <laughs> just wait the day I can go activate chicken game, draw a card, summon AFD, oh, pop, that's add a chicken game. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. I'm going to be sick, man. Good games, though. These games are so so close these dude, games are so those black close. wings came out for you man i'm telling you, icarus attack is just it's a hell of a card dude holy crap I'm, t I'm telling you last episode i don't feel did them justice i also could have played better last episode when i looked back but aside from that i felt like this episode demonstrated a lot better why i think this is the direction for me to go and i, I i'm loving it i mean the fact that you have a one card goyo guardian the fact that i'm able to just be like so aggressive with some of these cards black whirlwind is basically just rota every turn which dude, is you've crazy opened Ex two of them so often too that's so yeah. gross it's just it, the card gets out of hand so quickly and you saw i i almost otk'd you in the in the very first game except you had that one card to stop it but just like that it can amass so much damage so i feel like this is albeit it isn't like a dark arm dragon it's not a chaos emperor dragon i feel like this is like my next best play in order to have some sort of competitive edge against you and uh i mean i i'm feeling pretty good about it, it won me this one i was able to keep you at bay i'd say for the most part part 
and I'm, I, I think it's going to be the way to go. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. You've ended my reign of terror. But you you may have won this battle, but you haven't won the war, bud. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. oh how, how poetic of you. <laughs> I do get to open some lovely turbo packs you this do. episode. The first turbo so, packs. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. I actually don't know what's in turbo pack. I'll leave that for the next episode. We'll uh, surprise it. The next set is a uh, uh, Stardust Overdrive, I think, mm -hmm. or Star Strike Blast. Maybe Stardust I, I don't Overdrive. remember which one. Stardust Overdrive, I think. So we got some other cards in there. We're getting uh, close to some of like some really good generic cards at some point as well. Like Glow Up Bulbs, not far from now. Vanity's Emptiness is actually very close. Oh by Oh my god, yeah, that is Star Strike Blast, bro. Oh man, that's Glow Up Bulbs in that set too. Wow. Uh huh. Yeah. Star Strike so Blast, people man. Even people like look at Star Strike Blast like today, and they're like, "Wow, that set is like." There's so many weird things that pop up, but now we get to play with it like when it was released too. And I still like yeah. it. It's gonna be nuts. <laughs> It's going to be crazy. I can't wait to see what we're able to pull. And who knows how our strategies are going to change. So I can't wait to see what's going on. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series. I'm back in the winner's circle, but we'll just have to see how long that win streak can last. Gage might have to make some changes to his deck. Who knows? The future is our oyster. But we do have to shout out our patrons as always. So big shout outs to Pony Stark, Joshua Wiley, Tim00x3, Michael Dente, Mystic Walk, Oli, Neo Cypher, Slacker, Sylvia Wild, and Gayoko Part 2, Dan the Man Hope, Open Synchro Guy, GW, Jarvis Martin, Logan Thomas, Dragon Lord, Dollywop, Peter Gregory, Rasmus, Shotagonist, Thomas Nelson, Emil Cohen, Ika Iron Fang, Draconic, Alex Smith, Jordan Coons, Timothy Chen, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, Naru Celeste, Chris Hood, Shane Reese, and Jordan Husey. Thank you all so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.